Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we modeled this couch uh, from just five cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we also modeled the room. And this table is actually the same couch. We just duplicated it before we converted it into a couch. So this table is the base of the couch. And the cushions are just cubes that we've smoothed out. Uh, in this video, we are going to model the laptop and the cup. And so let's go ahead and get started, guys. So having this table here, I am going to make a copy. Hit the W to move, hold down the shift, and then clone. And then I'm going to place it right about here. Uh, and now I, I have to make it, um, obviously, a little bit uh, thinner so let's go ahead and go to the front view I'm gonna hide this one H to hide uh, and this one let's go to vertex mode we can right click and hold vertex mode and I want to make the legs a little um, thinner like that go to the side view do the same And then bring in this W uh, to the size of that uh, little desk. Uh, select all the vertices at the bottom and make those legs taller. And I'm going to make this a little bit skinnier like that. Also, oops, also making sure that maybe that table is a little thinner. Uh, and there it is, guys. A nice little table that's the desk maybe just a little tiny bit longer and a little bit tiny skinnier from here um, let's go to object mode recenter this d to center the pivot point right there and at the bottom right about there and then let's move this table down to the floor and back towards the wall now I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to rotate it because I'm going to put all the stuff in there because at the end when we put all the stuff on top, the laptop, the coffee cup, the pan, and the books, when we place all of this stuff in there, I'd like to move the table with all of it. So I'm going to make it add into a group. So let's go ahead and, and get that laptop done. The laptop is nothing but a couple of cubes. Again, cube. I am going to just size it. Here's what I'm doing. I'm just going to size it. Hit R to size. I'm going to make it thin, really, really thin. Size it and size it into a laptop shape. There it is. There's my laptop. I'm going to put it on top of the, uh, the table and um, figure out if that is big enough. Maybe it's too big. I'm gonna make it about this big and then super thin because this is a cool laptop. I'm gonna hit F to, to uh, fit. Mm, yeah, that's about right. That's the good size. Before I start messing with this though, uh, I'd like to hit W and make a clone of it for the screen. So I'm gonna select the table and hide it, select the room and hide it, and select the entire couch and hide it. And this is the bottom of my laptop. This is the screen, the top. The next step is to add a bunch of segments to this lower part. And so with that in the attribute editor, I go to my polycube and I'm going to add maybe like, I don't know, 20 segments. That's good enough. And then maybe as long as I could see it like kind of square, let's go 16, 16 by 20. And now that I've got a bunch of faces, subdivisions, let's go to face mode and let's select a bunch of these. I am uh, holding the tab key to select a bunch of them this way, this way, 
this way I'm not trying to be accurate I'm just selecting a bunch of keys you're gonna see it from afar and as long as you could see something there I'm cool with it this is a numpad I don't know I know if uh, some laptops don't have this but there's a bunch of keys right there while I have them selected and I have the move tool selected uh, that is W for the move tool hold down the shift and extrude them uh, in uh, that's the little tray they sit on and then I am going to do something else here uh, I could extrude them back out like this but I'm not gonna do that I'm going to go to the extrude tool uh, and the extrude tool is right here extrude if I click on it it will extrude them but it gives me the the actual tool it's not the fast key for it so I am going to extrude them up by pulling on this blue arrow extrude them out and then I am going to size them in but get this faces together off click on this off and then activate the scale tool by clicking on this blue box activate the scale tool and then scale them proportionately here and you can see those uh, keys actually come to life I'm gonna push them down just a little bit and there they are it's as simple as that if you if I deselect it you can see there's a bunch of keys there now I could have done the space bar together uh, but there they are the trackpad if we build a trackpad here right in the center of these keys I would select maybe just a big trackpad these and all I have to do all I have to do W to move hold on the shift and then extrude down that's it there's our there's our uh, there's our keyboard there's the bottom of that laptop now for this F to fit let's go to face mode face mode click on this face R to scale hold on the shift and we're going to scale in towards the center I am going to scale these the, the Z in a little bit more and then W and and extrude inward boom right there that's it that is our screen I am going to go to object mode and rotate it E to rotate hold down the J the J key J isn't Jake and it will rotate in 15 degree increments so I can right away rotate it to a 90 degree and then move it right into place I may put a hinge on here just to make it look a little cooler um, and that's a cylinder I am going to size it down Remember, uh, E to rotate, hold on the J, the J key, uh, constrains it to every 15 degrees, rotate it to 90, W, and then R to scale. And then just push it out. W to move. Let me see how it looks over here. F to fit. Let's push it back and F I just want that to look R W and then R again to scale outward and there's our hinge I'm gonna leave this at 90 degrees I know that uh, uh, it's not uh, it's not usual to have this at 90 but I'm gonna leave this at 90 because we're gonna project an image and it's easier to project an image when it's at 90 degrees I could just rotate it and then move it into place and say "Ooh, that's a laptop right there uh, but again we're gonna project an image 
in there and I want it to be at 90 degrees uh, I'm gonna go undo command Z Z Z and what I would like to do is I'm gonna grab all these uh, bring back my table display show all and then make sure that it's sitting on my table boom right there I'll leave it there and we can start uh, we can start to move over a little bit because we I want to start the coffee cup it's a little bit like what we did with a horse with the chest set uh, it's a little bit of organic modeling let's start with a cylinder and I'm going to push this cylinder to about the top of the uh, table R to scale and scale it to about the size of a coffee cup um, in the top window I'm going to hit the uh, 4 for a wireframe W to move and I'm going to move it right on top of the table spacebar for the quad view I think this coffee cup is a little big still size it down a little bit W to move and there it is spacebar for the uh, perspective view and then I am going to hide everything else H to hide H to hide and then this coffee cup F to fit in view and what I'd like to do is start with the top Go to face mode, right click and hold, hold the option, I mean hold the tab key, select all of these faces, R to scale, shift to extrude, and then click and shift extrude that, W to move, hold the shift to extrude again, and then extrude down. And I can't see how far down, but I can surely see on the side view, so F to, to fit, and not extrude again just move move to there and what I'd like to do um, so I would like to extrude the handle from these two out and back into the, the coffee cup um, but there is no divisions remember what we did with the wall is we're going to add subdivisions and so under um, mesh tools insert edge loop and we're going to click on an edge insert an edge loop right there about a quarter of inch of an inch down uh, maybe one right there that's the size of the handle one right there and then one right there again that's the size of the handle and that's the size of the handle so how do i know how do i know which two oops you see that do you see that guys I added an edge loop accidentally I'm gonna undo that because I still have that tool selected be careful you have to deselect that tool to continue to work as I was saying how do I know which two are dead center dead center I want it dead center so that I can work proportionately um, let's go to the top view I'm gonna hit F and I can see that I do not have the the two that I need I needed these two there's my dead center right there so in the perspective view uh, well actually in the top view I could see that this is my x-axis this is my Z those are the center two that I need to work with here in the perspective that is my uh, when that this is my handle start so what I'm gonna do is select these two hit R to scale shift to extrude inward towards the center zoom in uh, go to vertex mode and I'm gonna select those and move them up so that I can start rounding off that shape of the handle select these four hit F and now I can rotate it. Now, I like to go ahead and pull these out. And I want to go to, so that I can go straight out. I'm 
I'm going to go to my uh, front view. I'm going to pull those out and start extruding. We've already done this in the extrude uh, exercise. Uh, but anyways, all I'm going to do is extrude, rotate, extrude, rotate all the way around until I get to the bottom. So check this out. I am going to hold down my shift key, extrude out, E to rotate, rotate. Again, W, hold on the shift, extrude, E to rotate, rotate. W, hold on the shift, rotate, I mean extrude, E to rotate. And then I am going to uh, put this in the center. In other words, um, just adjust it. Hold on the shift key, extrude, and E to rotate. W, adjust, and then hold on the shift to extrude, and rotate. E to rotate. W um, to adjust, hold down the shift key, extrude, and E to rotate. W to adjust, and I'm back almost at the uh, join point. So let's get this prepared so we can join them. So over here at the bottom, we need to get these prepared these two this one I'm gonna hit F and this one I'm gonna do exactly what I did with the top I'm gonna move this point up and this point down to round off the shape and exactly what I did with the top, I'm gonna delete these two. Boom, delete. There they are. And then I'm gonna delete these two end faces. Delete, boom, delete. So just like the window that we bridge those two sets of edges, we're gonna bridge these two sets of edges, but the, but the face has to be knocked out. So I deleted those two faces and I deleted these two faces. So let's go to uh, edge mode, right click and hold, edge mode double click boom rotate shift double click to select this edge and that edge the whole ring and edit mesh bridge boom and it bridged it and so now what we could do is we could go to um, the side view or the front view and adjust anything that we might I'm gonna hide this camera show and I am going to hide the cameras all right so I've got this one W to move and I'd like to move it in a little bit just like this and in fact I'm gonna rotate this one like that grab this one And I'm just going to adjust this until I get um, a nice rounded edge right here. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. This is our coffee cup. Uh, I'm going to go to object mode. Uh, and there it is, F to fit. And hit number three to smooth out. Now I like the handle, but I just don't like how this kind of turned out. I don't like the bottom of that. And if you could see this, this has some ridges. So we're gonna add a couple of edge loops. Let's go to object mode and uh, let's uh, go back to polygon view number one. And let's select all these edges, all these edges, shift double click shift double click all these edges and inside shift double click oops undo shift double click this edge not that one so i've got all this all all this all this and the bottom 
And what I like to do is just bevel it, boom. And that gives me a little bevel. When I, number three, smooth it out, it looks a little bit different. It looks a lot better. And there's a coffee cup, guys. Uh, I am going to unhide everything. Go to display, show, show all. Uh, zoom out, hit A, 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 A. And there is the couch, the table, the, the table, the laptop, the coffee cup, and the center table. Uh, and that's where we're going to stop uh, on this one. On the next video, we will model everything else. Uh, but I'm telling you that uh, the TV is just a box. The shelves, another box. The picture is another cube and so on and so forth. Guys, we're going to get that done in the next video. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.